everyone, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. So today, I want to make a check. Uh, I think this should potentially be available by now. I hope. Hello. <laughs> uh, please? Hello. No? <laughs> Maybe I have to say nothing in particular. Hello. I see. Nope. Okay, well. I'm kinda hoping that would give me something, but I guess not. Uh, I thought it would activate the um the whatchamacallit. The uh use case Confidant. I don't know when it starts, because I didn't start it in my original playthrough until, like, super duper late into the game. Because I just, I just missed out on it. I didn't... I completely <laughs> forgot the man existed, to be honest. Because oh, yeah. I never had him in my party. Yeah. Let's go. Because I was constantly running on... Ryuji and Morgana until I got to Kanashiro's palace, which then I swapped and I run to the person that you get in Kanashiro's palace. Ah, you're back. What do you want now, Mishima? I guess we have to go see Mishima. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Today's my treat. Phantom thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go along. What do you want to eat? Ah, uh, steak sounds good. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Actually... Anyways, I posted on the fan site that it had connections to you guys. The fandom really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization, though. The donations I got after were pretty generous, to say the least. But I guess our loving top sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? Let's stop this at once. Hmm? What do you mean? Everyone was glad to donate if it meant supporting the Phantom Thieves. Oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh, the more I think about this whole thing, Unless I think we should use the donations here. I mean, people would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. Yet I, I freaking guarantee you that Shido's doing that exact same thing, but okay. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess running, returning that money would be the best choice. That's right. Yeah. We really need to make sure that we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clear in our fans' mind. I think I'll return the money and thank the, the fandom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe it was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Don't worry, I'm still gathering info on the forum too. I actually have a few, few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are going to blow your socks off. So if we're returning the money, how are we going to cover our meal? <sighs> I'm flat broke. <sighs> I guess let's just go home. Alright.
I'm trying to remember what happens. I think we meet Akechi within the next few days. In game. It's still quite a, I think, quite a wait until... <sighs> the next palace. Such a good song. Oh, yes. Maroki. Hmm. Just covered totalitarianism yet? Oh, shh. How about you? Where does total totalitarianism take things a step further than authoritarianism? Ah, uh, justifying probably. Oh, no, it's probably controlling public body. Got it! This is it. Exactly. Well said. Nice going. So Stopping at lunch. Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Mijibis Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Mijima Senpai knew? <sighs> what is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. <sighs> A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. Crooked politician. Little do they know. <laughs> Little do they know. Hey. 
Who's texting me now? Oh, come on, Mishima. For God's sake, can't you learn to leave me alone? Oh my God! Jesus, this is the bad thing about being a freaking protagonist. You have got to be kidding me, really! Oh god, I have to voice act. Alright. Not bad. You're pretty flexible and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. It's all about the harmony between the internal and external oblique muscles. I can't get enough of it. Go easy on me, will ya? Um... I thought it was... My coach's training is ten times harder than this after all. Well, I'll keep supporting you, so we'll keep at it together. Good effort! I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, Senpai. And, um, I'd like to continue with our training, but... I'm actually not doing so great at the moment, so I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. You doing okay? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm not sick or anything. Physically, I'm doing perfectly fine. I was thinking... Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not to stop doing gymnastics, she just... She wants me to take a break. I see. I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So, um, I want you to help me, senpai. You know... Even if we're not doing gym gymnastics, will you still, still keep going out with me? No problem. Thank you so much! Really? Thank you so much! I've heard my coach praising me. She says Kazumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I've gotten taller, for one, and there were some other complications. I can't move how I want anymore. Like it's not even my own body. I kind of fell into a depression. It got pretty bad. But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you were, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. And then follow my lead. Yes! You're a strange one, Senpai. I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. I forget, she gives us the, um, the long-range ambush. I need to make sure I get that, because that's I'll be pretty heading useful. Home now. All right.
Kazumi's another confidant we need to rot reach a certain part with. Ah, you're back. We need to reach con uh, confidant rank 5 with Kazumi. Confident rank, I think it's eight or nine with, um, I want to say it's confident rank nine with, um, Maruki, and then confident rank, confidant rank, um, eight with Akechi. That's what we need for the royal stuff. Time right now? All right then. Thanks. We recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. He ain't even listening. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day. Whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? Uh, so sleepy. Wow not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna fast. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole! My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored. But please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks! Oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. 
I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh! You mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. Alright, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's go to Dome Town. All right. machines and get cake instead gotta agree with the cat I feel like I'm gonna puke oh for real my stomach's churning this is why I spoke against it dude it's not fair using your cathood as an excuse only at times like this Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Well then. <sighs> Let's, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let me check something. Cause I think it kind of should be available by now. What would you like? It is. Hey, hey! You're right. I don't have a TV. Uh. Okay. That's incredible. 
found the TV. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well then. I can't buy games yet, I just realized. We need access to Aki Harbor before we can do that. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah, it's Akechi. Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Ah, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the phantom thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the phantom thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? They do more than the cops. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kejikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Uh, they only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. 
The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Ah, <sighs> they fight to the end. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Fine by me. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alrighty then. Alright. There's the Justice Persona. Er Confident. We need yes. that, I think, at rank we eight. Exchange contact or seven. Info. I think it's eight. Is it eight or seven? I don't know. One of the and two. Registered. Well, Basically, we need to get all of these confident ranks soon. up to, like, almost their max level before November. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Ugh, sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go.
<sighs> Ryuji lets every single little thing get to him. Like, seriously. people the constant questioning of themselves constantly in this game is just Jesus would be dangerous to get too close to him but he may actually prove useful in some situations oh my god why is he anyway he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Let's see. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Let me check. Let me make a quick check of something real quick. Mm. I've got a good idea. Play a game. Okay. This is the button mashing one, I'm pretty sure. Gamer, I play video games for a damn living. Come on! <sighs> Although I am more used to turn based games. Ah, oh, no. Yeah! Older people don't think we're real because they're older people. I'm so pumped. Too cool. It says who? from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of 
course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. Look, if those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though. What are we going to do about him? <sighs> what about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my mom would never agree to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. 
I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. punishment <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either these are your friends yeah go on and take them up to your room no need to stay down here Ooh, I want to see it's only an attic oh man ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth thank you very much for the drink up these stairs oh and uh thanks for the soda So you're, uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? <sighs> Let's sleep on it. I knew you were gonna say that. Seriously. It's so like you. But what else can we do? Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Way more gone. I can't believe I literally got stuck on a freaking cat. Let's 
stop, don't, why? Stop, I didn't even know that, that was possible. I heard you're all... As you should be. Food always tastes better with friends. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. <sighs> she said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for him, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? <laughs> It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. 
It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. 
What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating the Mentos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again! Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer! What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She's a good teammate. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. No, oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Has targeted famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... hmm. Still... Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh... I'll contact everyone. Alright, so we're going to end today's episode right here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified when I make a new video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5.30pm EST. Today's question of the day is... I don't know. Um... Huh... Shoot, I really don't know. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna pause. We'll be right back with the question. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have the question. Which Persona game do you think has the best story? That is today's question for the day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Persona 5 Royal.